yes it is a it is a struggle it is a task to get a first film everyone understands that um especially if you're not from the industry uh but at the same time to maintain yourself within the industry to make sure after the first film you get a second film that is also another struggle hi this is manishi chiller and you're watching me on the peepingmoon.com Should I call her a warrior princess or introduce her as a Miss World? Who's the woman behind Manushi Taylor? Let's ask her. Hi, Manushi. You know how should I introduce you in a Miss World, or how should I actually introduce you, Manushi? You have to tell me. I have to tell you. My God, you're asking the wrong person. I'd say maybe introduce me as this girl who's done like completely different things in her life, but and and is trying to do the same again through her film. But guys, this is Manushi Taylor with us at Peeping Moon, and we are going to take you through the journey of Prithvi Raj. If I have to ask you the first question, of course, everyone says making the foray into the films from the pageant. That but that conversation is no longer that beauty faces can't act anymore. I do not subscribe to that notion. But what I have to ask you is, it was such a brief call without any acting uh, background, and that to picking up the role of a warrior princess in a manner if i should be that's how i should be introducing saying you say you get your character yeah um well i'd say that uh, of course it was a wonderful script uh, you cannot not want to do a script like that okay. i never was i never sat and thought about uh, what should be my first film or i should do a film where the character is so and so there was a film like this um i really wanted to do it because i knew that i mean it's it's a yashraj yes. film um dr saab is directing and of course eventually i came to know that akshay sir was uh, going to be a part of this film so when you know such a big team is coming together when such a big film is happening then even if you have the slightest of chance you want to give it your best try i think that was the thought there um i i think i was too young to understand that this is going to be such a big responsibility it was after when i was on the film and when i was prepping is when i realized that Okay you know this is not a normal debut this is not going to be a normal character this is going to be a character that people have known of that people already have an image about and you have to match up to that a and b this is a character that is going to live for a very very long time so you need to make sure that you there are only good things that stay so yeah then then i think then the pressure kicked in much later but uh, you know when i mean for me uh, the whole decision of becoming an actor and the fact that such a such a good project Uh, you know was was there uh, then i guess there was no looking looking back i was asking what was the factor which kept you going on because it can be as unsure as it gets medicine to the miss world pageant the beauty pageant i should be saying and then the films what kept you going i think i've always been a very curious person um i'd say that um i like learning i like trying new things but yes <laughs> this was very different and uh, for me it's 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 all been like this little adventure uh, where i had no idea what's going to happen next but changing fr- you know changing from a medicine to uh, you know coming into whatever what i competing at a pageant i wouldn't say that was a change that was more like there that was more like two parallels and then of course taking the decision of uh, coming into films i don't think i've ever been the kind of person who sat and thought oh i can't do this or oh this is going to be overwhelming that thought has never come in my head and i i i don't know why i maybe uh i don't know maybe it's a factor of the fact that i've always been told by my parents from a very young age that you know you can do whatever you want to do in life so um i guess maybe that that's where whatever that inherent feeling of you know that nothing is too difficult uh you know to achieve in life has has come from but uh, i like to learn i think i've never sat and considered that fear is always going to be there in life that uh you know what if i fail uh what if things don't turn out my way uh what if i do an awful job at whatever whatever i'm doing that fear will always be there and i think that fear is important as long as it doesn't uh take over everything else and it doesn't pull you down i think that fear is important because that will that's the fear that will push you to do better in life you know so you need to have a a balance of of uh, a little bit of fear and a little bit of inspiration to take you ahead and a little bit of faith always <laughs> is there faith always yeah Did you ever imagine when you met uh, Akshay? I, I think you first met in that super night with Padman. Yeah, at, yeah, at my first TV show. First TV show. <laughs> Did you even think at that time that 
the life will come to a full circle and you will that's be the same yogita to prithvi raj <laughs> so that's a funny thing you know when uh, of course now we laugh about it and i tell sir i said sir my first film uh, i'm doing it with you my first television show i told him i said do you remember that my first television show we, i had come for uh, you know super nights with padman and uh, he was I, mean, i remember meeting him on stage of course we didn't have much of an interaction then you know we just met on stage and whatever little segment we had um that you know that was it but uh, i think uh, akshay sir is very very special in that <laughs> way to me he's he's probably my lucky charm because whatever i've done whatever new i've done in life you know he's always been a part of it so i guess that way uh, there is there is some uh, this that some sign that some that some connection that we have and yeah i mean he is who he is i mean he is someone that we all look up to uh he's someone who's been around for so long uh someone who's so experienced uh someone who's the master of what he does and getting to work with him in your first film is of course it's a very very big opportunity uh like this is something i wanted to ask you because uh, like when we see the beauty pageants the winners and when they come to the films mm-hmm. you guys also I have to come in and have this thick skin because there's so much, so much conjecture and so much troll might not be the word, but there's so much conversation. Like mm-hmm. it can be deafening to the craft that you are entering into because there's so much going around. And like recently, Harnas has to go through because she spoke about her journey with uh, weight put on and stuff. What? How you guys manage it? This is so much scrutiny, not just on. <laughs> just you as an individual because people perceive a proper persona with you and mm. everything has to be prim and proper mm. how do you manage the weight of it i think i think there there are both sides to it you know where on one hand everyone expects uh, women from the pageant industry to be a certain way uh, the same people criticize them for being that way so i think i think uh, you know whatever these opinions are you don't have to uh, bother too much about them opinions aren't facts uh, you can't have everyone love you there'll always be people you know no matter what you do in life they'll not like what you do and that's okay that you know that's their opinion uh if you are able to listen to their opinion that shouldn't affect you too much because i'm sure even you have opinions about others and i guess uh, i think i mean trolling uh, whatever you've spoken about i think that's that's something which is a part and parcel of what we do uh it's something that shouldn't affect us uh whatever if someone says something good about you don't let it get into your head If someone says something bad, don't take it to your heart. Love. Uh, and uh, talking about, I mean, Harnas, um, I feel that uh, she's been really strong. She's been lovely. Uh, the fact that, I mean, people have to understand. Uh, since I've also worked with Miss World for a year, you know, when you travel, you don't. It's a very hectic schedule. You don't yes. always get time to, uh, you know, catch on. Uh, I remember there were there were times when I'd only get to sleep on my flights because it was to be so hectic. um you know sometimes you go to a certain country and of course you're not going to get the same kind of food that of you get course. back home so do you have to you know adjust and you so many changes yeah and it's it's of course it's your body right your uh, you, there's no time to recover from a jet lag you know you've you've you've, you've uh, taken a flight from india to a usa and then you're immediately working so of course there's a little bit of stress that's there on your body as well and it's your body you know everyone's body fluctuates we gain weight we lose weight it's 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 normal it's life and we're all humans and i feel like we should also look at her as a girl who is doing amazing things in life yeah. and just be happy for her and i'm happy that she is not uh, taken this too seriously i'm happy that she is being her amazing self uh, doing an amazing job at you know being a miss universe from india and uh, i think i think that 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 that's something which i always believe that if you don't have something uh, nice to say then don't 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 say anything you know that's okay uh, you can keep it to yourself <laughs> uh and i just say that people should be kinder to each other uh but at the same time you know not just for people who are in the public eye i feel every person every normal person you or anyone else like all of us um we all face a certain c- criticism in the society that we live in everyone does at some at a different that. level um and i feel like as individuals we should know who we are we should be happy with who we are and we have no one else to impress we have no one else uh <laughs> you know so that lovely. that we need to prove ourselves to we need to prove ourselves to ourselves and in in that context i'd say that everyone not just public figures um trolling happens at different different levels all of us should not take it too seriously if i have to ask you before i even wrap it i always wondered um uh, when we say that uh, anyone who comes from like and you of course from the miss world stage you are coming to the acting were you in worried that everyone would be like that you are taking a 
a different route to come to acting it because i was reading comments and like in hamesha se beauty queens ka to plan hi acting mein aane ka hota i'm like yeah as if everyone is free to consider that as a profession <laughs> i mean i i wish uh, i'd say that uh ek, ek, this is a stereotype that yeah, people that's, feel that's, that yeah that's very strongly rooted nobody so there, there are few ways of looking at it the first point is that if i were to only look at the indian women who won miss world two of them have, exactly. have become actors exactly not the other not three the other um if i were to look at uh, pageants they are a lot of work um lot if i want work. to be an actor i would catch a flight to bombay <laughs> come here <laughs> audition learn acting uh do other things and you know it's not like there's a lot of hard there's work there's a lot of hard work too. there's a lot of hard work um and also that the the chance factor you know i mean we are we were 30 girls who were competing at miss india you know that one can only be the winner then there are 120 girls competing at miss world only one can be exactly. the winner exactly so the chance you factor, have proved your merit as well but but no but i mean the probability is so less so i guess i guess i mean i think that's that's the part that uh, people usually you know forget to consider and i feel uh, most importantly what really plays a role here is that we're all outsiders exactly. and uh, you know getting recognized getting uh, noticed is a very big part of being a part of the industry what a miss world or a, or any other pageant what it does for you is it gives you a platform where people from the industry know about you which they wouldn't if you were a normal outsider hence that definitely is an added advantage but we i don't think we ever got that advantage no one gave us that we earned it so uh-huh. i mean i think that is a little bit of uh, uh, credit that i think i'll give to all the women exactly. who won beauty pageants yeah because even if you say that a beauty queen makes it to the films she became a beauty <laughs> queen I you mean, we have we've to ha- already, you cannot we've already had a different kind of yeah, a journey and you cannot that. discredit that journey because it yeah out of thousands of girls they managed to be on the top so there must be something about that and i'll also say one more thing about films yes it is a it is a struggle it is a task to get a first film everyone understands that um especially if you're not from the industry uh but at the same time to maintain yourself within the industry to make sure after the first film you get a second film that is also another struggle so there there'll always be a certain kind of whatever certain kind of hard work that will be attached to different different stages some people might find one stage more challenging than the other um which is which is all right but i'd say that everyone has their own set of uh issues or set of challenges that they have to face in their own way um i mean which is also okay but uh, of course you know there is there is a certain uh there is a certain uh, love, level of love that i have for miss world because they gave me a platform they gave me an experience which has helped me in life and i know that if not films even if i would have done anything else i would have had a certain uh, level of experience and a certain level of understanding that i that i got at a, at such a young age and i would have been able to do it in an even better manner that's so lovely before i close this is the last thing i'll ask you manushi um how difficult it was when of course you made up your mind fine and i i read the part where you said that how adi recognized you and thought that you would be the best fit to play the role of sayukta when you came on the sets for the first day and you haven't learned acting like there has been no formal training for that how scary can it get that suddenly you're in completely unknown zone there are just as you have said all the seniors you're surrounded by yeah. do you even doubt or question yourself that oh my god did i do the right thing <laughs> i'm like can i like really really do this the doubts because you're not even well exactly yeah. you're not like learned or a proficient in the craft for that See, matter like, you're evolving with it like i i mean like i just said you're constantly questioning yourself in life right but uh, i will give myself credit for the fact that whatever whatever i've done in the last 5 years i've always managed to find myself in a position where i've entered a world that i know nothing about <laughs> and this has happened to me again and, and again, again in life and i think that's what life is and i've accepted that this is my destiny <laughs> and this is my life it. i'm going to be thrown into a situation that i have no idea about but that's how you grow you know that's how you grow when you enter a new environment when you uh, you know when you come out of your comfort zone uh, when you leave your smaller pond and enter the larger one that's how you grow that's how you learn that's how you experience things and i'm happy that i'm getting all these experiences at such a young age um so i feel like somewhere that adds a lot of value to who i am today and to 
uh, you know, to how my life is today. And I have stopped questioning myself or questioning my life because I do like to sit and, you know, my parents also, they sit and they always laugh. They said that she always ends up, you know, doing something completely Complete different, different, something completely new. But I am curious and somewhere maybe I attract that because I want to learn. And I feel that if you compare your life to how long the universe has existed or how long the earth has existed, it's such a small time. It's, a, yeah. it's such a small it's period of time. It's not even a fraction of... <laughs> it's not even a fraction of like anything. Anything. Um, so, so I feel like, but I am in this world and I want to learn and I want to experience and I want to see what are the possibilities of life. And I think that's somewhere which, that, that's somewhere that in that thought in my mind kind of drives me to try different things, to try new things and not limit myself because if I'm from a doctor's family and if I've grown up around children who want to become doctors and lawyers, uh, yes, that's what I wanted for myself in my life. But I don't want to completely limit myself to that. In that life. doesn't mean yeah, you can't have dreams beyond that once. Yeah, fear. of course. And I feel like I'm happy. I always felt I wanted to explore the possibility of competing at a Miss World. Uh, and fortunately, I got to do that. Um, and after that, of course, now I'm getting to explore the world of films, films. and the film industry, which again is very, very exciting. And I hope like even in the future, I hope I find myself <laughs> in more situations where I where I don't know anything about uh, you know ab about whichever situation that I'm in, but I guess that's how you grow and that's how you learn. That's lovely, Manushi. As I'm closing, one give me just one word answer. Who was the first person or the first any person till now date which actually managed to get you starstruck? Because what I have <laughs> seen, at least in my interview time with you, Thanks. there's this lot of calm and com compose and this poise. But who was the one who actually got you? Oh, hello. I think Narendra Modi. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hoping for a Bollywood celebrity answer. No, no. I, the, I mean, I met him when I just won Miss World. And uh, yeah, for the first time, he has an aura. Yeah. I got to give it. No, Bollywood <laughs> star is making the cut. Not happening. <laughs> this was, I genuinely was thinking that I might get a very candid answer like uh, say an SRK. Well, I mean, I, I, met, uh, I met our Prime Minister before I met an SRK. Hence. Hence. Yeah. So you made the, <laughs> the biggest celebrity of the nation, I would have to say. So you were very well prepared. But thank you so much. This has been such a nice interview. I never thought that I would be discussing everything almost except the film. But <laughs> I ended up discussing, Actually, ended up discussing, discussing everything. everything under the sun. But thank but, you so much. Thank you. And please do watch the film. Definitely. It's coming out on the 3rd of June. Yes. And I cannot wait to see the Warrior Princess Saga as I introduced you. Because I think you will really, really make it work. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you.